What's up, UFC fans? How you guys been? Are you psyched for UFC 158? George St. Pierre versus Nick Diaz. Do you think that uh, George is just going to throw Nick Diaz up and down the ring? Or that Nick Diaz is going to be able to pull out a submission? Or really confuse GSP standing up? Anyway, your guess is mine. But uh, I'm feeling GSP on this fight. I think that Nick's not going to be able to stand the takedowns. I think he's going to be fighting from his back. And, uh, you know, I can just see Nick on his back doing little slaps and little kicks. Anyway, who knows with that fight. But uh, Carlos Condit, Condit's taking on Johnny Hendricks. And uh, Carlos just put on one of the best showings versus uh, George St. Pierre without the uh, Matt Serra fight included. But uh, it was a real good fight. The last fight, UFC 154. I remember he kicked GSP in the head and uh, GSP almost... Almost looked like he lost it. But uh, anyway, GSP really took care of Carlos Condit throughout the whole fight, beat him. And uh, Carlos is stepping in against Johnny Hendricks. And uh, Johnny just had a vicious knockout over Martin Katman, uh, put him flat in 46 seconds, and uh, beat Josh Koscheck, who also just lost his last fight, beat John Finch, Mike Pierce, I mean, one says tough opponent, and uh, he's had more wins in UFC. I don't want to get into all of them. Only losses to Rick Story. And uh, I think he's going to do it. I think he does have the, the knockout ability. Uh, Carlos Condit's going to be the skinny guy, like Carlos said. And uh, Johnny Hendricks, 5'9". Okay, he's got the wrestling ability. He's 5'9", taking on Carlos Condit, 6'1". So, I, you know, he's got a lower center of gravity. Uh, he's going to be able to take Carlos down. And uh, I don't think he's even going to want to take Carlos down. I think he's just going to go straight for the knockout. And uh, Carlos does have some good stand-up, but the power is not there compared to Johnny Hendricks. Uh, Carlos does have 13 knockouts in his career. And uh, last one, he knocked out Dung Young Kim and Dan Hardy in UFC. Uh, also all kind of a knockout against Roy McDonald. But really, knocked out Dan Hardy and Dung Young Kim. So you see what he can do. But, uh, you know, he wasn't facing a guy like... Dan, uh, you know, Dan Hardy compared to Johnny Hendricks. Dan Hardy doesn't have the knockout power that uh, Johnny Hendricks has. And uh, Dan Hardy's not going to take you down like John Hendricks, Johnny Hendricks is going to do. So I have to go with Johnny Hendricks all the way. Uh, I really hope Carlos doesn't win this fight. And not that I have anything against Carlos, but I want to see a good number one contender. And I really hope that Johnny has what it takes. I think he has what it takes. And we'll, we'll get to see that uh, this, this Saturday night. Um, so... Yeah, I just really can't see how Carlos Condit can win the fight. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think Carlos, you know, is going to win the fight? you think he's just more experienced than Johnny Hendricks? Uh, been through more fights. Do you think he's going to tire Johnny Hendricks out and uh, do something in the third round maybe? Uh, or, you know, what do you think? you think he's going to win a decision? Let me know what you think. Uh, everyone's saying Johnny Hendricks is going to win. Johnny Hendricks is going to win. I'm going with Johnny Hendricks. But, you know, there's a good chance Carlos Condit can win. Uh, he has 13 knockouts, 13 submissions, and, and his, you know, 28 wins. And the only two decisions. So, you know, Carlos comes to fight time and time again. And he was champion of WEC, uh, won all those fights over there. So, you know, he's no slouch, Carlos Condit. And he's in his prime. He's 28 years old. So, of course, Carlos can win this fight. So let's see what happens Saturday night. Thanks, guys.